Oh, how's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Good. Cool, cool. It all works okay and stuff like that? Uh, I think so. I'm sure my husband, like, did something. Okay, if I have any issues where, like, I go home and it, like, explodes on me, could I let you know? That's cool? Yeah, for sure. Awesome, cool. So, there is 90 and then... You're good? And then there's good. $9. Okay. Okay. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, thank you. Okay, so I just picked up this awesome PlayStation 1 bundle. Let's hop right into it. Okay, so starting off, we paid $99 for everything you're about to see. I know, right? $99. That sounds kind of weird. Shouldn't it be like $100? I even messaged the guy because he had it listed for $99. And I said like, hey, is it $100? Or like, how much is it? And he said 99, which is super strange. I don't know why you wouldn't just like go for the 100 Like, I don't know, 99 is just like kind of a weird number to sell something for but i gave him 99 dollars. i gave him you know 90 and then like nine dollars and change try to get rid of my change because like when does this happen but when is there another opportunity uh to get rid of change like this so yeah super strange 99 dollars for everything you're about to see the uh ps1 has like a mod chip or it's been modded i don't know how much that affects the value uh, my original plan, because I saw it came with a controller, was to lot the PS1 and the controller for like 25, you know, make back like 25% of our money right there. But then I noticed that the controller is actually a DualShock 2. I know that's hard to see, which is a PS2 controller. Those actually go for a pretty good amount. I usually get like $25 for a DualShock 2 PS2 controller if it works really well. That'll be like a nice $25. And then I'll just sell the PS1 by itself for like 20 bucks. That put us at 45. We just have to make back like $55 or I guess 54 because it was a weird uh, denomination. And we got the memory card. I'll probably just like bundle that with the PS1. And then for the games, which was the main reason i bought this there were a lot of games i wanted to keep and a lot of really valuable and rare games so let's start at the top there odd worlds uh abe's exodus i believe this is like a 30 dollars game or so so pretty cool i don't have it so i will be adding that to the collection and then we got smackdown uh 2 know your role i don't have that one either so i will be keeping that one too it's like a 20 30 dollar game sold this things because like on some of these that I, I haven't picked up before or i haven't sold them so i not like current on the prices i know like a rough estimate and then we got scooby-doo and the cyber chase i used to love playing that as a kid i played it recently and it is like not the best game like i don't know i always found that like a lot of the jumping is really off. You jump and you miss stuff, but not because you're bad, just because like the graphics kind of suck. But that's like a $30 game. Anything Scooby-Doo kind of goes for a lot on PS1 or PS2. But yeah, I actually do enjoy the game. I never could beat the last level when I was younger. You got to beat the uh, Cyber Chase dude. And uh, he's kind of, he's he's really hard. He's really unfair. Yeah, and then we got uh, WCW and w o thunder not exactly sure what that goes for hopefully like a 20 dollar game i will throw up a sold listing because i'm not sure so yeah the game i wanted the most probably could have guessed it is spawn the eternal i'm so stoked to have that definitely going into the collection i've seen this game complete go for like 75 100 dollars i'm probably closer to like 75 but even still it's in really good condition i'm super stoked to have it i literally when i saw that i was like i'll take the bundle i was like basically that almost pays for the bundle itself and uh yeah definitely going into the collection like i said super stoked that's so cool um, i'll see if i can open that Ugh, there we go yeah look at that disc it's so nice like no top scratches nothing like that um it's beautiful so that yeah that's definitely going into the collection i think that's super sweet i'm a big comic book guy and i'm a big fan of spawn i even like the uh old movie I'm sure what this game goes for it's called uh peak performance i'm not sure what it's worth i'll throw up a sold listing because i have never come across it i didn't even know it existed um until today but yeah peak performance sorry for the glare again guys my apologies 
Cool, cool, cool. Peak performance. And then a game I do already own, so I might be swapping this if the disc is in better condition with mine. Um, but that's Pandemonia, like a $40 game. Actually a really fun 2.5D like platformer. If you ever follow like Cinemassacre, like angry video game nerd, uh, Mike Mate, like his like buddy who does a lot of stuff with him, he actually does a review of this. Um, go watch it. It's a really fun game, just so you get like the idea. It's a really fun game. It's like about a $40 game-ish right now or more, but it's definitely worth it. It's a really fun game. A lot of the 2.5D games didn't turn out very well. This one actually did. So yeah, if you get a chance to pick it up pretty cheap, pick up Pandemonium. It's a lot of fun. You like switch between like that jester dude and like the girl and like he can jump higher, like double jump and she has a ability. But yeah, really fun game. And then the last game we picked up is called Bug Riders. I'm not exactly sure what that's worth. I'm pretty sure it's like a $15, $20 game. Honestly, it has a really cool cover. I expected it to be worth like, you know, like a $40, $50 game, maybe like an uncommon, um, you know, that's worth money on PS1. But it's not really worth much, which kind of sucks. But definitely happy to add it to the collection nonetheless. And uh, yeah, guys, super cool. Super awesome pickup for $99. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to make off this. I'll probably just throw it up in the top right. But I'm guessing it's easily more than $100 on this. So definitely going to at least double our money. And uh, yeah, super stoked with this. Get to add the spawn to the collection. Maybe upgrade my Pandemonium, the Bug Riders, the Abe Odyssey, the Smackdown. Lots of good games that we're going to be keeping. And uh, yeah, guys, let's keep it going. How's it going, dude? Good, dude. Not too bad, not too bad. I just sent it. You should probably have it already. Okay. I know how stupid e-transfer can be. So. Yeah, when I got my Series X, um, I got it off a of reseller. Yeah, and you had to and wait an hour or something? I, well, we waited 30 minutes, and he's like, you're going to have to go get cash. Yeah, and normally but it can take lot, like an hour or so. It's a lot harder with cash because $700 especially. Yeah, I know, it's like, kind of like, you don't want to be walking around It might be like, like two yeah. days, too. Yeah, so I know, like, for sure. Oh, yeah, I got it. Right, yeah, mine are, mine are always really quick. It, ma it makes no sense, literally. Mine like, Scotia, every time I send like 100 plus bucks, yeah. it's like at least... Yeah, it's normally anything above 100 for most banks will take a while, but I've never had an issue. Sure, yeah. Go, yeah, so I, I was pretty confident you would like there wouldn't be a, a wait or anything. I appreciate the deal, by the way, and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, Sweet, like, I don't even fucking need it. I was like... This one girl, she was like, yeah, I'll do 250 no problem. I was like, all right, bet. Uh, yeah, like and the... so I sent her a message. I was like, let me know when you're coming by. She's like, sounds good. 6 p.m. hits. I have plans at 8, a dinner at 8. I was like, hey, it's 6 p.m. Just let me know when you're coming by. Yeah. I got plans at 8. Leaves me on red. I was like, sick. Okay, I was like, hey, is everything all right? It's 6.30 now. All the way to 7.30. I'm like, hey, all right, I'm going to sell it to someone else. Yeah, and move on to the like, next what? person. I know a lot of people waste their time on community. Leave me like, on red? Like, I was like, bro, like, at least send me, like, I'm not coming. Yeah, I'm not coming, so you're not sitting there. And especially once you give them your address and stuff, it's like, are you going to come kill me now? Yeah, are you going to yeah. rob my shit? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> so, like, is that game or yeah. and stuff like that. But, no, I appreciate the deal and stuff like that. That's why yeah. I was, I was like, kind of running behind today, but I was like, I'm not going to leave you hanging or yeah. anything like that. So. Well, I appreciate you following through. Yeah, not a problem. Glad we had no... Uh, like issues with the e-transfer and stuff yeah, so cool. awesome man thank All you so much right. hey you. how's it going guys we just picked up an awesome xbox one one terabyte bundle let's hop right into it okay so i paid 200 dollars for everything you're about to see not a crazy good deal but i was kind of just in like a you know let's like flip some stuff let's go to work and uh yeah i really wanted the controller from this once you see it you'll understand why he had it up for a few days and he wanted like 250 or something like that he dropped it to 230 i still wasn't interested i said i'll give you 200 dollars he was like really hesitant for a few days. He was like, I have other people who are interested. I was like, no worries. But if that falls through, let me know and I'll take it for 200. So yeah, I went and got it for 200. We should make 180 back just on the Xbox because it is the one terabyte. So that'll sell really well. And I'm like completely sold out of Xbox ones. So I'm sure that my one terabyte one will sell for 180. And uh, yeah, then we just have to make back 20 bucks super cool and then the main reason i even bought this was for the controller you might know what this is based on the case 
But uh, yeah, let's just open it up and I'll show you guys. It's an Xbox One uh, Elite controller. I believe that's what they're called. This is like a $200 controller, brand new. Probably used, it's probably worth about $100, $120. And yeah, it comes with like this nice case. You can like replace all the buttons. It comes with bumpers and stuff like that. All the buttons are really good. The sticks are really good on it. I'm super stoked to have it. And that's why I wanted it. I've never come across a Elite controller, I believe they're called. Sorry, I've never come across one, so I'm not super familiar. But yeah, so super cool. Like I said, these go for about 120 So yeah, we'll get 180 for the Xbox. That'll leave us $20 to make back. And then basically for $20, he was right by my house on my way home. We get to keep this Elite controller for free. So I think $20 for an Elite controller is a pretty good deal. And I'm super happy with it. And uh, yeah, guys, probably be like $100 profit um, all said and done. And uh, yeah, guys, really easy, quick flip. Let's keep going. So I wasn't sure if I was at the right place or not. I was like, I no, think you I didn't... are. I just didn't want to bring it out in the rain. Oh, you have a free backpack with it. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Cool, cool, cool. The Wii U is just in there, or the Wii U, the tablet is in there. Okay. Everything else. Is in there. And it all works good and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah no issue. All right. So there is 140 for you. I could not delete anything off of it. I don't know how to do that. That's not a big deal. There's like a code you can look up that'll get you past all like, because sometimes there's like parental locks or whatever. That's what it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know the codes to get through that and stuff. Yeah. There's like a, Whoever had it had their thing on there. Yeah. I couldn't use it and I had my own one and my yeah. daughter added one. We couldn't even delete hers, man, because it said something about parental control. Yeah, yeah, those are dumb stuff. But thank you. I appreciate you. I wasn't trying to lowball you or anything like that. No, no, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. You too. Hey, how's it going, guys? We just picked up an awesome Wii U bundle. Let's hop right into it. Okay, so starting off, sorry for the rain. It's raining really hard right now. You might be able to hear it. So sorry about that. Nothing I can do, but I really need to get this filmed. I paid $140 for everything you're about to see. I'm starting off, we got the Wii U. Should be able to get 120, 130 back for that. And then it also came with Mario Kart 8. There are like kind of like chunks out of the bottom, if you can see that. And I have really bad luck with Wii U games. So I messaged the guy and I said like, hey man, like this works, right? And he kind of said like, yeah, I was playing it this morning. So hopefully when I get home, it works. If not, I'm definitely going to shoot him a message because... I did ask him. So Mario Kart, I'll probably just quickly bundle the Wii U and the Mario Kart for 140 total, make all our money back. And then it was supposed to come with a Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't know if you look in the description, it said that wasn't included. That was the main reason I wanted that. That's like a $45 game. Definitely didn't notice that. I don't know why people throw two games in a picture and then be like, yeah, it only comes with one of them though. Like. That doesn't really make sense to me. So we'll make all our money back right there. And then it came with two remotes, one being the Mario edition. We should be able to get like 40, 45 for that. And then the Blue Motion Plus, we should be able to get like 30 for that. So super cool. I just sold a Blue Motion Plus actually. So so yeah, I thought it came with a Zelda. That would have put our profit to be like closer to 100. Unfortunately, because the Zelda isn't there, we'll do a lot less. So I'm thinking we'll probably only do, we'll probably only do like 70, $75 now. Really big bummer. This could have been a really, really good deal. And now it's kind of not that good a deal. I wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't for the, if I hadn't known the Zelda wasn't there, I wouldn't have bought this. But yeah, guys, we'll still make money. We're not going to lose money and it should be a relatively easy flip. So yeah, guys, let's keep it going. And uh, yeah. Yeah. 